man this is a tough one so if you're a fan or if you're a viewer or if you're aware of academics you would have known that he did share this story a while back and he shared this story a while back because the lady in question had gone viral somewhat because she accused academics no she accused academics his friends of running a train on her and it wasn't voluntary it was obviously a grape train and academics defense at the time was that this particular lady he invited back to her house back to his home um one night but he got too drunk when he was at the pot so sorry they were at a party before him and this lady and his friends and then he'd got too drunk at a party went home and then when he was going home when he was when they were at home together they were about to get it on but academics was too drunk and he fell asleep so when he fell asleep he got put into his room to sleep and she stayed up and to hang out with his two other friends who are still up who, who were in the house with academics those two other friends according to academics ended up fucking this girl and he ended up seeing it all on the cameras because he's got CCTV cameras all around his mansion or and inside, I'm assuming. And, it said he, and I think he also said he's got audio. So it was kind of funny because he was almost making it seem like he was weirdly getting off on the fact that his friends were smashing a girl that he wanted to smash, but he was also sad about it. It was also, it was weird. It was kind of simpy, incelly type of stuff. Odd, but regardless. Then he confronts the girl in the morning. Oh, what happened? And then she kind of doesn't want to confess. So academics in his wise nature decides to try and like shame her into confessing what happened even though he knows what happened so then that leads to some sort of altercation some sort of whatever she ends up leaving in a half and then i guess off the back of that the girl that academics was involved with long term that shay glizzy girl she gets involved somehow and she threatens to leak this because she allegedly has more information that he allegedly grabbed this girl in an effort to get in front of the story, Academics comes out and starts to really pile on to this girl that accused him of rape and actually, you know, just be unnecessarily mean on with her online. And I remember when I was watching it at the time, I was thinking, this isn't a good tactic. Like, you know, there's no, there's no wrath like a woman scorned. So trying to publicly humiliate a young girl who already doesn't want to admit that she might have had a train ride on her right she's maybe a bit embarrassed about it and maybe wants to try and like spin it another way is a bit wild especially if you were drunk and you don't really remember what happened because i also felt like the story originally didn't make much sense so this girl that you were going to hook up with you start getting it on in a club you get too drunk you come back home you fall asleep which i can completely understand because happened to me before where you just fall asleep at the pla at the moment of like you know action and shit that can happen if you're too drunk or maybe you can't even you know get ready so you fall asleep your friends end up doing what they do end up doing what they did with the lady i said allegedly it was consensual and then you wake up and you don't also partake or you don't try it just doesn't make any sense what, what, what like it just doesn't make any sense like or you weren't awake yourself either that whole story was a bit fishy like he went to sleep and just left his friends up with this girl by herself like it just didn't make any sense to me and also why would she stay up by herself with two people that she didn't know i don't know whatever it sounded a bit shaky if i if if i was in his position i don't think i would have gone that hard at the girl in the first place because you if you have the video footage of on the camera that shows you what happened there's no need to argue with this girl back and forth online just leave it leave it be like there's no need to kind of poke you know there's no need to kind of um antagonize the girl embarrass her online because who knows you know maybe in the moment she wanted to do what she wanted to do but maybe later she regretted it which is perfectly fine as well but then you constantly trying to like you know embarrass her to try to clear your name it's only gonna make her go on the defensive and maybe this is the defense or he completely lied about the whole entire thing and he did it actually grape this girl which is completely wild because his career is fucked and it's so mad because the timing couldn't be worse he just came off one of the best periods of his life academic i think he said he's made the most money he's ever made right streaming online covering the drake and kendrick stuff he's been the go-to place he broke records right he literally broke records he took over from you know he basically snatched the fucking torch away from fucking um flex funk flex and shit and then off the back of that this happens it's like ugh. whenever whenever two <laughs> whenever good things happen you know bath is about to follow but the allegations are a bit wild 
let me just tell you this the allegations are a bit wild so this is courtesy of rolling stones the headline reads dj academic sued for grape and defamation dj academics is facing a new lawsuit accusing him of grape a sexual assault and defamation the lawsuit was filed by Fauzia Zia Abash, who dated the internet personality real name Livingston Allen. That's a fucking hilariously Caribbean name for a guy that just, you know, doesn't really look that Caribbean. But we continue. After meeting him online in 2021, Abash um, alleges that July 16, on 2022, Allen contacted her and invited her to his house in New Jersey, not suspecting ill intentions, even though they allegedly hadn't seen each other for almost a year. When Abash arrived, however, she was met by two men identified as Joe, John Doe 1 and John Doe 2, whom she did not expect to be there. Abash claims the two men drugged her, drugged her drink and, pl and plied her with alcohol before assaulting and raping her on Alan's pool deck. Now, this part I remember him saying as well. In the video, he says when he, when he basically tried to like, you know, defend himself, he was saying that when he woke up in the morning, he watched the CCTV footage and he could see... That, that girl that he invited back and his friends were getting it on in the pool. And he said it looked like they were enjoying it, like it was consensual. So if he's got a video footage, this should be an easy case to throw out. But if it's not <laughs> if the video footage says the contrary or is kind of inconclusive, he's in big trouble, bro. He's in big trouble. Abash says the drugs impacted her memory, caused her to lose consciousness, according to the suit. She claims she later woke up at 4 a.m. on July 17th in a bedroom with Alan, who was pulling her hair and prying open her legs and brutally graping her. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, mate. <laughs> Could you imagine the terror of a young lady waking up and seeing that wide face with those sausage fingers, right? With those fingers covered in fucking Berg, you know, Big Mac sauce trying to split your legs open and shit can you imagine the terror that must befell a young lady seeing that hungry face trying to get in god almighty bro um abash accuses alan of penetrating her anally and vaginally and says that she was begging him to stop and crying for most of the assault but losing her ability to move physically <sighs> details bro they they are really going into the descriptive details aren't they fucking hell the following day according to a lawsuit abash asks alan for details about what happened the previous night he allegedly showed her a trash can that contained two condom wrappers which suggested to abash that after the alleged pool deck attack the two john does had taken her into another room in the house and continued to grape her brutally abash also claimed that alan showed her surveillance footage of the alleged pool deck attack this can't be true right this can't be, this This doesn't make sense. So he allegedly graped her, his friends graped her. She asks him in the morning, hey, what the fuck happened? And then he shows her footage of the grape. As Brennan would say, it, it don't make sense. It don't make sense. According to Mrs. Bush, as she watched the video, she looked like she was just lying there lifeless, which is not sit right. Okay, cool. So maybe he, maybe he didn't think the video was bad. So he showed her in a way to kind of, it's like when dudes think sending a girl an unsolicited dick pic is like, flirty it's not in it it's, it's a form of sexual harassment you should probably chill so maybe he thought showing her the video she'd be like turned on but then she watched the video and was like um i don't look like i'm awake Oof. according to the text messages included in the lawsuit later that day on july 17th alan told the bash to get tested oh academics bro get tested and said didn't he say in on the stream that he didn't even do anything with her so why is he telling her to get tested abash said he she found the statement odd the suit urges that the text was proof that alan had not slept with her mr abash for over a year engaged in unprotected sexual intercourse with her that night alan did not reply to a request so they're alleging that because he uh, i don't know if that's true though because he could have he could have texted her to say get tested because when he saw the video footage of his, of his friends because i remember he said in the, actually i remember in the stream he did say in the stream he didn't see his friends put on a condom. So maybe he told her to get tested because he saw his friends on the CCTV footage not putting on a condom before they did their business. Now, why would he care? I don't know because, you know, it's none of my business. Why would I be texting you? To, I mean, like, I brought you home and then you end up smashing my... Like, I never understood why he wasn't even angry at his friends either. Academics is a very odd individual. He kind of like 
tried to get in front of her story by shaming a girl that was you know and the circumstances around it were very shit were very like murky which made no sense and then he didn't also seem to have a grudge he didn't seem to hold a grudge against the two boys that allegedly had smashed his friend or his like you know his situation it's like what's going on here um after contacting her lawyer for advice abash went to the police the authorities first told her to visit a hospital for a rape kit which she did the kit purportedly led to the discovery of traces of Alan's sperm, she claims. Abash then spoke, <laughs> yo, these ladies, like, I think just having sex with academics anyway, you deserve something, honestly. <laughs> you, um, obviously, you can't be, you know, falsely accusing people, but just putting yourself in a position where you have to, like, let that guy be on top of you, you probably deserve something. Like, maybe a couple, couple grand, 10k or something, because God almighty, bro. Can you imagine that gut on top of you as you're a lady? That wide face. Like, you know he doesn't wash, like, I don't know. I, I get the feeling that guy doesn't wash that much, you know? Like, Abash then spoke with the authorities in person and photographs were taken to bruises on Abash's arms, back, buttocks, and legs. Oh, my. And this is a black girl, too, by the way. So if she's bruised up like that, that has to be, like, some level of force, in it? Fuck. Abash also sat for a recorded wire call with Alan during which she claimed Alan graphically recounted and admitted to having sexual intercourse with her, even going so far to describe her vagina. Oh my God, academics. Describe her vagina. You know what's really, you know what's really mad about this situation? I could, see a, I could see a scenario where he didn't do what he's accused of, but because he's such a vulgar, not even vulgar, not because he's such an inexperienced man with women, I could imagine him doing this and thinking he's like, you know, putting her out, like putting her in a place. Like he's got that, you know, it's those fresh and fit, that fresh and fit, like, you know, school of seduction is just full of nerds, like geeks with money, like dorks, not even nerds, dorks with money, losers with money, who basically try and overcompensate um, by acting incredibly, um, what's that thing called? Incredibly confrontational with women just like being aggro and being aggressive and vulgar and just just doing all that stuff as a way to kind of put women in their place it's almost like um it's almost like a couple of levels above being an incel really because kind of deep down a lot of them you feel like don't really like women anyway they kind of just they kind of despise them in a way because maybe they have like really bad because i've always thought i've always thought there's like a there's a reality where being an incel makes sense for some guys there's a reality where it's somewhat justifiable for you to have an a, a, a crazy amount of hate for women especially if you've been rejected in a very hurtful way i can see that being understandable right obviously when you go and do something to you know to kind of act upon it you're obviously crossing the line but incels that kind of like you know because that kind of rejection from women people don't especially if you're not a woman, if you're not a guy like trying to make a move on somebody that you're interested in and then being told in you know in no uncertain terms that you are not worthy or being told it in a very rude way can really hurt you um, especially if you've got a fragile ego fragile personality you're not all there in the head it can do real madness to you but there are some guys who are probably even more menacing than that where they hold on to all those grudges and then one day, once they get on, they take it out on everybody else, <laughs> you know, like in terms of their relationships, they start like just being just cunts to girls to kind of get back on all the girls that told them no when they're in college. And I sometimes get the feeling like that from academics, like, and again, not to be mean, but this guy wouldn't be fucking much if he wasn't who he was, unfortunately, not because of what he looks like, just because of his attitude, you know, he's a bit of a loser. Um, losers can, you know, have six packs as well. I just think that's the main thing. And I think a lot of them, and I don't really know why this is the case. I would love to know why, because part of me thinks if I grew up a loser and I didn't have any luck with women, but then I happened to then become one of the biggest streamers and hip hop platforms in the world, I'd want to work on myself a bit. I don't know about you, but I would, I would want to prove to myself that I could fuck without money. Like I wouldn't want to have the feeling that I'm only getting what I'm getting because I've got a gold chain and a nice car. I'd want to prove to myself that I could do it, right? That's what I'd want to do. But a lot of these guys don't seem to care. Like, academics looks like shit. He talks like, you know, he doesn't really try to, like, have any sort of riz or game. It's just about, yeah, I could pay your fucking bills. I can fly you out. Do you want a new bag? 
You know what I mean? Like, it's all that kind of game, which is, I guess, you know, there's a, probably a beauty to it. Should be able to just like take a 10 and give her 10 grand and get her to do whatever you want and get to do whatever you want with her and stuff. I guess there's some sort of a law in that. For me, I don't really get it. I would never do that sort of thing ever in a million years. I'd rather fucking die lonely than ever do that sort of stuff. But unfortunately for a lot of these guys, this situation is not uncommon because they have such little experience with women. I could understand this being something that could easily happen. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to make of this. This led the cops to obtain a warrant for the surveillance footage and other device evidence. A batch later claimed that Allen disposed of several items, bed sheets at the dumpster near his office. Presumably, Mr. Allen was attempting to destroy the evidence. Despite taking an allegation to the police, a batch chose silence per her lawsuit and, sustainable and ostensib ostensibly decided not to press charges. Her decision to bring the lawsuit comes after the accused allegations were brought to light at the end of 2023, after both she and Alan addressed the incident on social media. The funny thing is about it as well is that Academics has been going extra hard on Diddy based on the lawsuit as well. So now he had his own lawsuit. Fucking wild how that shit works, isn't it? <laughs> that Diddy karma's real. Despite taking a... Um, um, Alan denied assaulting Abash and in... This 30th of December 2023 video, he claimed he was asleep while the two John Doe's allegedly assaulted her on the pool deck. Acknowledging the surveillance footage of the alleged attack, Alan said she was getting trained on by two men on my pool deck. The suit alleges defamed Alan defamed Abash by accusing her of voluntarily having an orgy with his friends at his home while maintaining that he never participated at all. The suit goes on to allege that Alan knew his statements in the video were misleading and false and he was in possession of the text messages from Abash where she stated that she didn't know what happened on her July 16th. In a statement, Abash said, I'm not confident that the social that justice will prevail and the veil will be removed. Her lawyer, Tyrone Blackburn, added, litigation is always the last result. After several unsuccessful attempts to probably resolve the case, Mr. Abash left no choice other than to file Miss Allen's hubris will be let his downfall that's a really good line because i feel like let's ma let's imagine a scenario where he actually did it i also have a feeling based on what i remember for when it happened that maybe the girl was looking for a payday which isn't a bad thing all things considered if you actually did what you did and you can get away with it by writing a check do your shit and whatever but i also feel like the arrogance and the kind of the bravado and the cockiness he was talking with he kind of walked himself into this lawsuit because there's a, there is a scenario where he could have just paid her off and it could have just went away. Or he could have just ignored it. Because I also never understood why he was so quick to tell everybody that he had a CCTV, you know, closed circuit TV system in his house, like inside that recorded audio also. Why are you making that public? Why are you voluntarily offering up that information? Wouldn't you want to keep that close to your chest for your own protection or whatever? Like he was so quick to let that be known so that it would make him seem innocent but then it also seemed weird that he'd run to watch the footage in detail watching his friends fucking one of his girls that he wanted to be with and then be okay with it it just didn't make any sense so again i don't really know what to say i don't really know how to read into it i just know that it kind of sounds <laughs> mad <laughs> and most likely to make it go away he'll probably have to pay something you know Maybe he would just be like out of kind of principle. He would just go with it until the end. But to help it make it go away. Or to, and, the, and the sad thing about the situation is that more than likely, not sad thing, but I guess the consequence of this will be that his streaming career is going to be fine. He's never going to suffer. I think that's one thing we've discovered with, um, we've discovered with, um, what you call it, with cancel culture nowadays in the social media age. If you've got a following online, it's almost impossible to ha to get you canceled to get yourself cancelled. It's not going to happen because your your you know your community is going to help you, but the, it's going to hold you up. But the issue he's going to have is the big platforms. They're going to want to step away from him because those type of allegations are way too hot and spicy for regular corporations and platforms to kind of side with or kind of turn a blind eye to. So that's his major issue. And you know, working all this, working as hard as he did to get to where you are now and to have all these platforms like Spotify and all these other, you know, music label, record labels as well that you're working with in the background decide to pull away from you, that's going to hurt your pocket a lot. Um, and it's also a stink you can't, you know, you can't really shake, unfortunately. <sighs> Again, he could have avoided this if he just would have kept his mouth shut. But he was so insistent on trying to get in front of the story. And another thing is, so just to kind of make this story extra fucking diabolical. If I'm not mistaken, 
if I'm not mistaken, the reason why this all got blown up anyway was because of that Shay Glizzy girl. That Shay Glizzy girl, that mixed race girl who's been causing academics only trouble, right? The, the, I think that's the girl that got him to say, I'm the prize, I'm the prize, that, you know, that monumental night when he was in Vegas. That young lady, I think, was the one that went on social and said, oh, Ak has got some grape stuff on his, on his, you know, on his docket. He's got some grape, you know, allegations on his jacket. And then he had to then come out and defend himself. So that woman has not only allegedly assaulted his mum, stole money from him, like, you know, uh, maybe backdoored him with that home burglary thing, exposed him for having, you know, STIs and shit and all those horrible pictures that he took. She she now might be responsible for this lawsuit in a weird way. But this is the video originally when it came out. So this is when it came, this is back in the day. Um, the woman that, that claims she um, slept, this is for courtesy of Glot Topics. The woman academics came, slept with his two friends while he was asleep, took to her YouTube to say he's fabricated a story, accusing him also of raping her. So listen to this woman speak. And again, we don't know. This is all us just, you know, trying to make sense of what people are saying. It's a bit he said, she said. But listen to this girl talk. Does she sound like she's lying? I look crazy right now, but I'm not going to stand here and let this man continue to lie about me. That's not what happened, academics. You know that that's not what happened. And for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, for you to pretend that you didn't do anything, that I just went to your house and I'm just some thought, like we didn't know each other for two years. You tried to save yourself after your friends assaulted me. Whether or not you got drunk or not, I know that when you woke up, you were on top of me too. You raped me too. And a test, a rape kit was done. You know what? I'm going to come back with my own story. This what you wanted and you're about to get it. I've been quiet for way too long. Oh, I don't know, man. She doesn't sound like she's chatting shit. That sounds like a woman that's been publicly embarrassed, made to look like a hoe, and then has been trying to deal with things behind the scenes quietly and has had enough. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like he could have dealt with this privately and it probably would have went away. But he went on his platform, tried to play the big boy, tried to act like he didn't care, that his friend smashed his friend. Like, tried to do whatever he was trying to do. And then, now look what's happened. I don't, again, I don't know. Who knows what's right or what's not right. All I know, this is another unintended consequence of that horrendous fresh and fit red pill andrew tate way of kind of treating women because none of these guys are gentlemen because none of these guys ever got girls before they got famous or because they got money it's now causing these issues that we're seeing now with these kind of like almost these like adult infants that have the money to act like adults but then have the brain of ch literal children and put themselves in situations where sometimes the allegations are false but they still put themselves in shitty situations like the other guy from fresh and fit who got that um that chinese lady pregnant and shit right um or actually might have done something crazy because they don't you know because they're fucking dumb idiots whatever it may be but either way this is just a consequence of just these guys having no understanding of like how to move you know just moving like like waste men like simple as that just absolute wallads it's absolutely insane it really fucking is just diabolically insane but again i don't know jack shit i'm just a minor person talking out my asshole i know absolutely nothing in that regard